Blah, blah, blah. All right, let's just be honest. Can yeah. someone just be honest? This is stupid. I just want someone to tell me the truth. This is all bull. Why don't you show us? The two pictures that I have of her are. This is oh, okay. one. Okay, here we go. Very pretty. Hello, Brie. Oh. oh. <laughs> wow. So you saw those pictures and you thought. Like, oh, she's pretty. She's oh. pretty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's all you've seen that's of her in the last four years. Yeah. It's odd that someone who is an exhibitionist by profession, that you only have two pictures. Don't you think there's something a little. Yeah, it, odd? Is, it is a little odd and a little off. Do you ever feel like she's not telling you something? I want to say yes, but then it's like no, because I don't like being lied to. I don't ask for nothing else. Just don't lie to me. I hope that I'm getting what I give. Because I'm being genuine with you, I expect to, for you to be genuine with me 100%. So hopefully that's the case that's going on. If not, four years of trust and not getting it back, that would be really hurtful to me because I don't trust too many people. Uh Wait a second. Here's a message between Whitney and Luscious B. They've talked. So Luscious said, hey, boo, how is everything going? Where are you now? What Two. year is this from? When 2011. When did, how far does it go? It goes, whoa. Oh my god, wow, they talked a lot. Wait, this is a full relationship. Do they know each other? Look, 2014. Oh, oh my god. They were talking in December, January 19th. 19th. That was a week ago. Do you think Whitney is messing with us? Is that what's happening right now? Hey, love, get on Uvu. Love? Wait, they get on Uvu? I thought she couldn't get on Damn Uvu. On. That doesn't make it any sense. It looks like they've been video so chatting think, since 2011. Do you think Whitney just... Whitney and Brunel talk extensively. They're having an almost daily exchange for the past four years. I'm so confused. Or I'm not. She's lying to us. Does she's she gotta be lying to us. Does she she's gotta know that Luscious is Brunel. They're very good friends. So Whitney is screwing with us. She's She played us. We figured it out. But we're here. We got catfished. Whitney, is that even her real name? We don't even know if anything she told us is real. I mean, we don't even know if they're in love. She wants to be, be on TV. They wanna be on TV. Yeah, Luscious. She's got a career maybe L she's trying to pursue. Luscious is no stranger to the camera. There have to be easier ways to meet than to write into a television show. They're huh. using us for a plane ticket. Did she really think we wouldn't figure it out? I just can't believe this. We were looking through your messages, and basically, we found these. A little over four years of conversation. 55. Pages between you and the luscious bead going all the way up to a week ago. There are times where you ask to go on Uvu or Skype, right. and it looks like you guys got on with right. each other. No, I haven't been on with her. Come on. Yeah. Well, this person, her name is um. Come on. I didn't hit you up to do this. That's what's going on. All right, you want to tell us what that means? Yes. She basically hit the show up to basically try to see me. OK. And I was like, why you do that? I want to see you too, but. Like, this is crazy. Everything just went haywire from there. And now we're here. You lie to the show so that you could come on and then meet each other in person. Yeah. Here's the dilemma. We've now sat with you for probably a total of five hours and listened to 100% lies. That you look, You looking us dead in the eye and lying to us. We're in this position that you so well articulated that you don't like being lied to because once someone lies to you, you don't know what's true and what's not. And we don't exactly want to air a show where we get right. tricked by two people who may just want their 15 minutes of fame. So this is your final shot to tell us the truth. All right. What's the nature of your relationship with Brie? 
Like we, we've been talking for on and off for about four years. Are you in love with her? I am in love with her. She's there, I'm here. I'm trying to figure out even if I want to stay in New York or not. I want to see her to make sure that if I do decide to move to California, that I, I'm going to be with her and everything is what she says it is and what we want it to be. Tell us about how it's ruined your relationship with Liz. After Alyssa and I broke up, I started talking to Liz and we hit it off and we were in a great relationship going on for about a year and a half. I am madly in love with that girl. You were dating her for a year and a half? Yeah, a year and a half. Wow, and Alyssa just broke that up. Yeah, Alyssa started, started contacting me again, saying I still love you, I wanna be with you. And I was trying to give her the hint, I don't want a relationship. And she still harassed me and called me at random times of the night, two or three in the morning. As you could see that it was really hurting your relationship with Liz, like why not just get a new phone number? I did get a new number, but she got my number somehow. This yeah. girl is stalking you. Basically. The harassment continued, and that was a big part in why Liz and I broke up, because Liz felt like since Alyssa was still in the picture, she couldn't trust me anymore. Thank you for meeting up with us on such short notice. Obviously, you know what we're doing here. We want your take on this whole situation, your side of the story. Well, I've known Vince for about three and a half years now. We started talking as friends, and then we got together. But Alyssa didn't get out of his life. She was always in this relationship. So Alyssa was always this like third person in your always, relationship? Always. Why is Alyssa still involved? I should be the only girl that you're talking to. She's like, you know, texting him and stuff. And I would see text messages like, I wish you were here looking. How am I supposed to react to really? this? Really? Yes. Wow. And she knows he's in a relationship. Yeah. She's making me crazy. And then her cousin gets involved, too, and starts talking to me, Miranda. He's like, hey, how you doing? How are you and Vince? As soon as she said I was like, boom, you really don't have to talk to me. That was it, and it was cut off. She never texted me back to this day. How did we get from that to you guys breaking up? Well, um, it was just this past Monday. We, we just broke up. This week? Yeah. That's why like, I'm really emotional about this. He told me I'm going to be on Catfish. I didn't understand why. I thought he met Alyssa. I thought he knew Alyssa. So you never Whoa. realized that he had never met her? He lied to me this whole relationship. I'm sorry. I didn't know this whole time. Vince told you that he had dated her in real life? And met her and all this stuff from what the stories he told me. Multiple stories about meeting and being with her. Like, he told me, like, he went to her aunt's house, and her aunt's house is nice. And all of it's a lie. I do love him. I'm just disappointed in him. How can you love them and never met them? Welcome to our world. Is anything you told me true? Yeah, everything I've told you is true, except for, of course, the pictures. Does that mean that your mother recently passed away from breast that cancer? Part, no, that part was not true. I said well, that. That's a huge. So then everything's not true. Well, the, that part. Well, I said did that. Did you have cancer? No. You came out here and said everything I said was true, except for the pictures, and now I it turns out meant, most like, of what you entire... said wasn't true. Why, when he started dating Liz, did you? try so hard to break into that relationship and, and, and cause havoc. You know he's in a relationship. You know he just wants to be a friend to you. That's the story that he told us. Um, well, you know, I might have lied about stuff and everything, but he's not innocent. He has flirted with me ever since he has been dating Liz, and I have text messages to prove that. The thing that he said in his text message, he shouldn't say that if he has a girlfriend. What did he say in his text message? Like he texted me saying something about playing with his I have that on text message, so you can't sit there and say that you didn't send it. Well, did you text it? I mean, you might as well tell the truth. Yeah, you might as well tell the truth, because they're going said, to see it. I said that, but OK. I, I mean... While you were dating Liz, he's told me that he would break up with Liz for me. Obviously, mm. he didn't tell you guys that story. Nope, no. Whatever. 
but like I said, I agree to It's not whatever. Part. If you have this girl that you love so much, that you've been having a relationship with for a year and a half, like, why are you right. sending pictures of your I wasn't trying to get let's, any let's sexual not... conversation out of you. Come on, Vince. Don't pretend, and I won't either, that you're holier than no, any other I mean, guy ever. No, We're all no. the same here, OK? Yeah. We're, Wait, we all... time out. I don't do that Vince called us in yes, under the... Yes, under, be realistic for a second. Under the pretense that he wanted to get this girl the hell right. out of his life because she's ruining his relationship right. with his girlfriend, who he loves so much. Come on, man, you're making me look like an ass. Look, you're look, kind of look, making no. yourself look pretty bad. I mean, Liz had good reason to have suspicions about why you weren't blocking Alyssa. I wasn't trying to get back in a relationship. You were. No, I was was something on the side that you wouldn't let go of for Liz, which is all she wanted. I mean, yeah. Every time I want to meet her or something, she pulls up an excuse and then eventually got her to get on Skype with me. It was a completely different person. So the person that you were video chatting with was not the girl from the photos. Yeah, not at all. Wow. When you guys were video chatting, did you have a clear video of this girl? It was a bit pixelated. It wasn't the best connection. What was your reaction? I was shocked and I was upset, questioning why she would do that to me. Then she texted me saying that she had her cousin get on the camera. Why did she want to do that? She wanted to see if I loved her for her, is what she was saying, and not for her looks. But you had never seen that girl before, and you never saw her again. No, not at all. Because I think Ramon deserves an explanation. I didn't think any, any relationship was going to form with him. All of it was real, just not the appearance. That's the only thing that was fake, OK? Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Not right. I know it's not right. Still. You spent over 3,000 freaking dollars on me. Do you not think I don't feel bad? I'm surrounded by that every single day. You couldn't have, like, came clean after all that if you felt bad? I tried to come clean. You tried to come clean? You know I tried to come clean. You know I tried to come clean. Please don't. You know I tried to come clean to you several times. Yes, and you every didn't. single time. Yes, I did. You were acting all sad. You knew. I knew what? You knew that I tried to come clean before. Is it all right if we all come in? Yeah. He knows my full name, though he probably will claim that he forgot it. He knows he heard my birthday. He's seen my driver's license. You've seen me. We FaceTimed. We Skyped. You called me by my name before. Is that true? Yeah. Now that I. What the hell? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there were multiple times where he has seen me. He knew that if I was in Paola, he knew that this is what he was going to get, whether he wants to act like he doesn't know or not. It's a little weird that you didn't tell us that, yeah, you got, that she went to such, she, I mean, you only told us that she once said something and then. That you only saw her from here up. No, he saw me. He saw me. How much of what she's telling us right now is accurate about the fact that she tried multiple times to explain to you who she really was? Yes. That did happen. I barely remember. I what? barely remember Dude, that. We this sat with you for hours this trying to extract stuff from you. It sounds like you had kind of met her a couple times. Yeah, I didn't want to believe it. I didn't. Not though. Take us back, you know, five months ago when you got this oh. random phone call and kind of how everything progressed from there. So I was selling my soaps and things like that. And so every once in a while, I, you know, I'll get a call. And I got a call from Jack. I let it go to voicemail. I text him. I wanted to know, you know, like if he had any inquiries. He's so funny. He just started like kind of flirting with me. And I thought it was funny and I did it bad. Wow. And, what, was, what was his yeah. line? Like, I'm feeling really dirty. Do you have any soap? <laughs> Clean me up. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm a dirty boy. Yeah. <laughs> Can you tell us a little bit about him? He lives here in Rochester, too. He lives in Wait, Rochester. Wait, time out. Why haven't you guys met? 
He works a lot, and I'm busy with my kids. Do you talk to him on the phone? No, we don't. You only texted? We only texted. Yeah, but he called you once. Yeah, but she didn't answer. You're a smart woman. You know that that's pretty weird. That is weird, but at this point, I've fallen for whoever I've been talking to, honestly. I'm in love. I am very wow. emotionally invested in this relationship. But lately, he hasn't been texting me back. And when he does, it's like late at night. It makes me wonder, am I the only person he's talking to? You don't know Jack. <laughs> Shawnee, we need to have a real talk here. Yes. You've seen the show. Mm -hmm. There have been people who've come on the show okay. who claim to have never met person that they ended up talking to. Okay. But then it turned out that they knew them all along. Okay. Because this person is in Rochester. The story feels very, it's unusual. So I just want to <clears throat> give you an opportunity now uh -huh. to let us know if by any chance you know who this person already is that you're talking to. I wish I did. That's why I called you guys. So I put myself out there to do this. Coming on TV is gonna embarrass the hell out of me. And I'm really gonna be pissed off if it's not the situation that I've thought that I've had for the last five months. I'm not, you know, one of those type of people I even put myself out there like that. So right. this is kind of huge. Do you know this person? You know this person? Do you know this person? Yeah. You're in trouble. Someone's lying. It's your ex-husband. No way. Is it really? Your ex-husband. Unbelievable. So you were lying to us. You did catfish us. Hey, I'm Neve. Why don't you just tell us What's going on? Did you know it was her? No, not until I got like to right by this tree right no. here. I didn't, I thought like this was gonna be a first time meeting. I, that's what I'm, I, I, I wonder like what's going Wait, on. What, but but didn't she her. tell you her name uh, via the texts? Didn't she say, oh, my name is Shawnee? I yes. said my name is Shawnee. Yeah, right. This is not Shawnee. I don't understand. No, what's like, your name? Not a Shawnee. Ebony. Your name is not Shawnee? No. Why wouldn't you tell us that? Because I thought that you guys wouldn't help me. Help you do what? To try to get my family back together. You took every chapter out of the catfish book. Catfish well, he time. catfished me, and I catfished him when back. When did he catfish you? Because he told me his name was Jack. That's because you're some stranger hitting him up while, you know. Yeah. Time out. Ebony, you did all this stuff. Yeah. You lied to us. You lied to Brandon. You lied and cheated your way here. For what? I felt like I didn't know what else to do. Honestly, we were living in the same house and we weren't even talking to one another. And the kids would see that all the time. And I just thought like maybe he could talk to me as a different person. How is it that you can just maintain for five months being like the perfect person ever, just about. And like for 16 years, you couldn't even get it together. Like, why can't we do that as Brandon and Ebony? I don't want to have to be somebody else to be loved. So did you catfish us and him in order to force this conversation? Because you could have had this conversation with him without us theoretically. I've tried, but we just argue and it made it worse. It made everything worse. How did you and Emily meet? I contacted her when I had gotten my heart broken by my ex. I was feeling gay for a day, so I'm like, hey, let me just be gay for a day and see what happens. I was just going through Facebook, looking at girls' pictures. I came across her picture. I'm like, oh, snap, this girl's really cute. Let me just hit her up and see what happens. And we hit off right then and there. And then she gave me her number. 
she opened up to me about her personal situations with her family, how hard it was for her to come out. She made me understand it's okay to be gay. I really do love her and she's pretty. So that's part of the package to you. Like she has to be who she looks like. I would hope so. Yeah, yeah. All right, so hold on, let me explain what, what's up here. Have a seat, have a seat. Basically, nine months ago, Hunter was on Facebook and came across a profile of a girl named Emily with pictures of you that like really caught her eye. We spent the last couple days looking into this whole situation. We found some interesting things you might actually be able to help us make sense out of. Lay it out on me, come on. Okay, so the big question is, do you know a Geraldine? Yeah, my ex-girlfriend. Whoa, okay. Wait. But it's... you have a girlfriend now? Yes. With my girlfriend now, uh, me and her broke up last somewhat last year. She had went to the army. Me and Geraldine were friends for a while. We ended up into a relationship. We broke up because I was still in love with the other girl, so I got back with the other girl. It wasn't like an ugly, nasty breakup, was no, it? No, I literally just told her how it was. She took it pretty, uh, pretty well. Um, Whoa, OK. Because the number that Hunter is currently talking to her mm -hmm. on comes up registered to Geraldine. Oh, my god. I don't know Hundra. You don't know Hundra? No. What is that? What do you mean you don't know Hundra? I've only been talking to her for about like four weeks. So you mean the whole yeah. nine months thing isn't yeah, actually true? It's not true. So you guys only started talking four weeks ago? Yes. Oh. So you, but you still have been talking to her? OK. Um. Well, obviously, she contacted the show. Right. But it's just like, it's not true. Don't know Hunter. Don't like her at all like that. Me and Melanie only did it because she asked us to. Wait, what? Melanie knew Hundra? Yeah. So Melanie knows that this is all fake too? Either you guys are like Academy Award winning actors right. or like, I, cause you guys are. Okay, so hold on. So you and Melanie are for real ex-girlfriends. Yeah. Okay. okay. And a couple, and that, a month, that's true. a month ago, Hundra contacted you guys and said, hey, I want to get on this show, Catfish? I don't know. I don't know if it was like that. I, I have no idea. An asshole. There's got to be some reason you're involved in this. Was it because you thought if we got, you could get on the show? Why would you risk your reputation just to help some girl you don't know? If Melanie wanted to help her, then I so, love her, so I'm going to help. Really? So you just steal pictures and portray and talk to people? I'm talking to you. I can hear you. So speak, like, you think that's cool? It's over, you know. What's over? What's over? This whole thing is over. What do you mean? She spilled the beans. Y'all playing us. Hundra, you want to tell us something? You knew them already, huh? But it was still something that needed to be done, like, as far as me coming out. So that was it? You just wanted to come out? You had to have at least had a reason to want to be on television. I wanted the world to know that I was gay. Like, Why does the world need to know that you're gay? When you're in a culture that hates what you have to become, it's not that easy. So yeah, in a way, the world should give a but I don't want to keep hiding gonna, myself. What's the world going to take away from this? Right now, you're setting a really bad example for people. How? Because oh. you lied. And you Creates. also speak on gays like they have a disease. Butch Wait. and like gay for a day. I feel like I can call them certain names because I've no. been in their world for a while. On paper, like I think you're crusade to liberate Haitian women across the nation is like beautiful. And like there are very real ways that one could do that. And this is the worst way to do it. This is incredibly selfish. You don't look like a hero. Okay, well, this is done. Yeah, thank you. So why, why are you smiling? What's funny? It's not funny, it's just up, it is. And why did you go along with this? What do, what, what do you have invested in her? Sucker, you are a sucker. You. 
corny. You are corny. So a random girl just hits you up on the internet and says, like, hey, will you help me live Hell on no. national television? And you're like, sure. Well, it wasn't like that. I mean, she wasn't a random girl. I mean, we were friends. I just don't see you and Hundra being friends. I don't get no, that No, but pairing. we are, though. Like, I mean, I wouldn't say we're, like, the best of friends. Like, I'm, a, I'm like, oh, now, we, now we're not friends. I know how it is. Thank you for wasting my time. I regret all of it. You're corny. You're not a hero. You are a, uh, you are a shameful citizen. Paint the picture of how we ended up here. So about nine months ago, I got a message like, hey, Taylor, how have you been? And I'm like, hey, you know, who is this? I don't really remember you. And he's like, you know, it's Christian. We went to high school together. I remember when you transferred from St. Valley to McKinley. That's a very specific detail. Yeah. So when he said that, I'm like, OK, you were there. You know me. Yeah. Let's talk. So I'm like, well, here, here's my number. Let's text. We don't have to you know, keep talking on Messenger. So we texted for like another week or two. And then I was like, you know, can we talk on the phone? So I called him mm. and we talked. And that lasted for like maybe a month. And then five months ago, just stopped talking to me. So we text. Was there ever any doubt when you talked to him on the phone that his voice sounded like anything other than a guy? Not at all. Okay. It was definitely a man, definitely a guy. A guy. Yeah. Okay. okay. And how were those phone calls? Like a lot of chemistry and it just it, it felt like someone I already knew. He's like gentle, he's caring. We laughed a lot. He's very funny. So I'm like, well, let's FaceTime. And he's like, oh, I can't because my camera's broken. I can see you've texted her. Mm -hmm. That's her. Wait a second. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait. That's her number? Yeah, that's her number. What? Wait a second. Uh -huh. Jessica's number is Christian's number. That's Christian's old number. You never noticed that Christian's number was her number? No, never at all. Uh, what? Wait, wait a second. Uh, 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 Erica's number is Christian's number. Yeah. Hello? No, that's not his number now that I talked well, to yeah, him Well, yeah, but, but you have this number for Erica. It's her when I call her. Like, I could call her right now, and it's her. It's not a guy. Right, but. That's the point. Right, so it's definitely her. The first number you had for Christian before you knew his new number is Erica's current number. So you, you knew that there was some weird connection with her and this story, which is why you acting surprised is weird to me. So when I asked her about that, she said it wasn't her. You already called her out? Because you had it programmed yeah. in your phone already. Yeah, I told her. I was like, this goes back to someone that I've talked to. So why wouldn't you mention that to us? When we got here and said, oh, by the way, the first number you had for Christian comes back to your friend, Jerrica. How could you not immediately say, oh, yeah, I knew that. Well, because I, I believe her. In my heart, I don't believe it's her. Yeah, but like, how could you not mention Be that? You, that you brought that up with her. You're too smart for this. But if I felt like a little bit that it was her, then I would be on it that it's her. But I, in my heart, I don't believe it's her. You're telling us the truth. Yes. I'm sorry, bro. Honestly, like. I just really can't say anything more than that. I feel horrible. I know, I feel bad. Blah, blah, blah. All right, let's just be honest. Yeah. Can someone just be honest? This is stupid. I just want someone to tell me the truth. This is all bull There is no bull This is what you see is what you get. There's like, nothing no more to it. it. Like, it just got out of hand. We know for sure that's not what's going on here. I don't, what else? What do you think is going on? I think you guys and Taylor are all full of <laughs> We know Taylor's best friend has the same phone number as the catfish. It doesn't add up. None of it. You guys aren't fooling anybody. It's all BS. Do you have any additional things to say? Not at all. <laughs> why don't we take a break and all right. a little bit more? Okay. Is that cool? Yeah, why don't we just take a quick yeah. breather? Okay. All right. So, um, you just got to hold it there. She said the reason she doesn't want to be on the show is because she doesn't want to be deceptive in helping Taylor with her plan. Maybe Kara right. got cold feet, and then these guys got pulled in. But, yeah. Okay. It's hard to nervous concern. Right. Only one person in this room can explain. How did you get involved? Taylor? Like when you guys added me on Facebook and we're just like playing around. 
I'm trying to give you the opportunity to speak your truth, and then I will. And speak I'm mine. speaking my truth. I wouldn't feel the need. Right. So, so I'll just say it. I'm just gonna say it. So Taylor set this up to come on TV, and then at some point ask you guys to come on the show. Yeah. Okay. We kind of got in on at the end. You basically, you three were gonna be the ones that were the the catfish. Her. She was. Wait, hold on, Taylor. You just said that like all, all of a sudden you're you're like agreeing with the story. You're just gonna like it casually admit that like they're right and that you've been <laughs> full of this whole time. Well, are you ready to do that? So Jerrica decided to make it up, and I wrote it. <laughs> okay. And then Jerrica said she didn't want to look stupid. Okay. So I was like, let me see if someone from Atlanta can do it, so I wrote her, but, but the why? fact that they're involved, Why I'm do all in. that? To be on the show? To boost your Instagram? What's the origin point of why we are all sitting on this, <laughs> in these couches right now? Like, I want to be on TV. Like, like what the We talked to you, yeah. you sat with us, talking about this, why we spent time and energy, when we do this, like, 110% into everything, and like, that's up. So they would have said no, then I wouldn't even have wrote into the show. It's not like I was going to keep Whoa, finding people. Yeah, that's my fault. Uh, yeah, right. No, you, that's ridiculous. You don't think anything's your fault. <laughs> the world is, like, no, at your I feet never to said do whatever you like. Yeah, but, my that, fault. but this just, like, you are, you look so gross right now. I don't even think Jerrica is involved. I'm sorry. I just think the fact that you went through with this and that you so casually are just saying like, okay, yeah, that's it. And yeah. haven't once like even seemed to express any sense of remorse. You're like, life is gonna be perfect for me anyway. So like, oops, sorry. That's how okay. I feel about you right now. Okay. So I'm finished. You guys, that's it. I got the answers I needed. I think the story's over. I'm sorry you guys got roped into this. That was unfortunate. It was a bad decision, but okay, good luck. Sorry we had to ruin your big TV debut, and please don't ever waste my time again.